When you think of Xbox, you think of Halo and Gears of War, two pillars that help define the Xbox brand. But both franchises are very different to one another. Halo is a first person shooter set in a more distant future with superior technology, alien races and much more, but it appeals to a wider audience. However, Gears of War is a third person shooter set in a world that's similar to Earth, but is more gory, dark and gritty, appealing to a more niche and hardcore audience. There are many differences, but there are some similarities in the world building of the two universes that are very easily overlooked. So as always, I'm your host Abs, and here are 5 similarities between Halo lore and Gears of War lore. Number 1. The Flood and the Lambent Both universes have an infectious parasitic entity that is a threat to any form of life. The iconic Flood, a species of malicious parasitic organisms that can reproduce and grow through consumption of sentient life forms of sufficient biomass and cognitive capability, having the ability to infect and mutate a wide array of organisms from humans, various covenant species and much more. They are widely considered to be the greatest threat to the whole existence of life in the Milky Way galaxy. The Lamban are similar to the Flood, a species of parasitic organisms that would infect any living organism on the planet Sera. But the Lamban came about due to the emulsion parasitic fungi and lambency was caused by exposure to emulsion, transforming infected hosts into semi-sentient mutants that have no other goal but to spread the infection. As Gears of War was created after Halo, it is assumed that the Lambent may have been inspired by the Flood, as both of them are infectious parasites that attack and kill their victims, only to possess their bodies to spread their plague, and when the vessel is destroyed, both leave none or little remains behind. Of course there are a few differences, for instance, the Flood being a galaxy wide threat, whereas the Lambent was only a threat to the planet Sera. The Flood having the Grave Mind, which is the ultimate hive mind of the Flood, whereas the Lambent don't seem to have hive mind. It has been hinted that the Lambent may have a hive mind, but this was never expanded upon. But of course, the general concept between the Flood and the Lambent is the same. Number 2 The UNSC and the COG. Both universes have a supranational style entity that rules over humanity that have been challenged by rival humans but are now on the verge of being destroyed by a barbaric non-human civilization. The United Nations Space Command in Halo Law is the navigation and military arm of the unified Earth government. The UNSC protects its colonies and regulates anyone who rebels against them, and in their military, the UNSC has an air force, an army, a marine corps and a navy. Similarly, the coalition of ordered governments is also based on a collective, a united, authoritarian, military coalition of nations on the planet Sera, that have also regulated and fought any threats to their existence. The COG also has branches within their army, such as the COG Army, the Air Corps, the COG Navy and the Engineering Corps. The general concept of the two factions are the same, however there are the differences based on the universe as the UNSC is far more advanced, with advanced technology, starships, facilities, weaponry and more in their travels across the galaxy, whereas the COG is based more on an Earth-like military in terms of weaponry, technology, assets, etc. Number 3. Cortana and Anya Stroud Both universes have a female personal assistant, or a voice of reason, for the protagonist to Master Chief and Marcus Phoenix respectively. Behind the two strong, brave and natural leaders are a female who have an extreme devotion to the protagonist. Cortana in Halo Law met John 117, the Master Chief, and developed a deep personal loyalty to him that would only grow over their adventures together, guiding Master Chief along the way, giving sufficient intel on the surroundings and helping to look after Master Chief whenever he was caught in trouble. Similarly, Anya Stroud in Gears Law met Marcus Phoenix and they fell in love with one another. Anya would never give up on Marcus and had an extreme devotion to him 
and she helped Marcus through his struggles. She was a controller in combat information and always guided our protagonist along the way. Of course there are the differences, as Cortana is an AI or female programming and is a creation whereas Anya is a female gear. However, once again, the general concept behind their roles is quite similar in this regard. Number 4. The Brutes and the Locust Grenadiers Both universes have a savage, powerful and physical species in the form of the Brutes for Halo and the Locust Drones for Gears of War. The Jirulhane are more commonly known as the Brutes to the humans, a giant ape-like species who are imposing enemies and are physical specimens. They are stocky, they possess lots of muscle mass and are savage beasts, possessing animalistic brutality and strength. The Locust Drones are quite similar, as they are much more powerful and larger than the average human. The Locust Drones are merciless and bloodthirsty, but the Locust Grenadiers, who are part of the Locust Drone species, are assault troops and they are even more physically imposing than the Locust Drones. They are extremely aggressive and savage. They are more bulkier than the drones and also possess lots of muscle mass. These guys don't miss a day in the gym. So both of these physically impressive and durable species are similar in their savage ways for their respective universes. Number 5. The ODSTs and the Onyx Guards The UNSC and the COG both have special operations forces who are iconic in their respective universes. The ODSTs and the Onyx Guards. The ODSTs in Halo perform in highly specialised operations and they specialise in orbital dropped shock infantry tactics. While the ODSTs are not on the level of the Spartans, they can complete missions considered too dangerous for standard infantry. Similarly, the Onyx Guard in Gears of War are also an elite special operations unit. They have their own signature look as well and are a deadly unit. According to the lore anyway, although they are seen as a bit of a joke in the games, but the lore behind them is that they are indeed a deadly unit. So just like the ODSTs, they are tasked to complete special missions. So I do believe that the two units fulfill a similar role in their respective universes. So that, my friends, are five similarities between Halo lore and Gears of War lore. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video subscribe for more similar content like this and please do let me know what you thought of this video and if you'd like to see a part 2 of this. I'm your host Abs and as always I will catch you guys next time.